saw a guy in New York a couple of weeks ago looked just like him. I mean, the way he's dressed, with the big tie and the long hair. That takes all kinds, unfortunately. Well, of course, he wasn't nearly as elegant. He was a beatnik. Oh, you better not let Mr. Roger hear you say his ancestors look like any beatnik. Might not like it, huh? I have to remember that. Yeah, you better. Of course, what the guy in New York was really missing was a pin like that one. One on the coat. Must have taken a lot of digging to come up with those diamonds. Yeah, they should have left them in the ground. A good heart and a clear conscience are the only jewels worth having. <laughs> yeah, uh, but what if you don't have them? Uh, the good heart and all that. You'd do well to get them. Well, what if you'd rather have some like that pin? And you're probably worth past saving. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, this guy here, was he past saving? Judge not, lest ye be judged. And the ring, and, and that uh, thing around his neck. I bet they were worth saving. Oh, you can be sure that they got special attention. The Collins family was never known for its set of values. But they could value something like that, huh? I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, they'd really hang on to stuff like that, huh? Well, I'll bet they still have that pin. And the ring, too. You want to bet? I'm not a gambling woman. Come on. <laughs> you know better than that. Ah, uh, I bet this family's got enough jewels stashed away somewhere to buy half a continent. Have they? I guess so. Come on. I said you know better than that. Why, well, I'll bet you've even seen them. No, now there you're wrong. I've heard about them just like everyone else. But seeing them is another thing. Collins' jewels are a legend by themselves is what I heard. Well, that's what they say. And what else do they say? Once I heard... What? Go on. I didn't hear anything. I'm too busy to listen to stories, much less tell them. What did you hear? Tell me. I didn't hear anything. And if you're smart, you'll get your mind on something else besides rings and jewels and things like that. You hear me? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I heard you. I have no intention of continuing this discussion. And I wish you'd try to remember, Burke, that you're not exactly welcome here at Collinwood. I know. Well, then will you please leave? Liz, I didn't come up here to ask you any questions or to tell you what to do. Then why are you here? I came to tell you something that I know. I'm not sure I'm interested. Please, Mrs. Stoddard. He's only trying to help. I don't need any help. And I must say, Vicky, I'm rather annoyed with you. Sorry. Well, it's bad enough that you consider it necessary to discuss what happens at Collinwood with, with outsiders, but to go to Burke. She didn't come to see me because of that at all. She didn't want to tell me anything about what's happening up here at Collinwood. I had to drag it out of her. And for your information, she tried to stop me from coming here. Well, if you won't follow her advice, then perhaps you'll follow mine. Now, I suggest that you leave. Not until I say what I came here to say. Then say it quickly. Liz, there is a very dangerous man living in this house. Really? I'm not kidding, Liz. I've seen this guy in operation. If Vicky hadn't been there, I hate to think what would have happened. Is that what you came to tell me? That you and Willie almost had a fight? Really, Bill? Well, it wouldn't have been an ordinary fight because he's not an ordinary man. He's dangerous. Well, thank you for your information. And now may I say goodbye? Liz, Liz, if you're in trouble... The only kind of trouble I have is with people like you, who try to interfere in things that don't concern them. At least I want to help. I know that's hard for you to believe, but I do. Why would you want to help me? You've always hated me, you know that. I don't hate you, Liz. It's the Collins family and what it stands for. That's what I hate. Please, Liz, you need help. What kind, I don't know, but I want to give it if I can. And I repeat, I do not need any help. All I need is peace and quiet. 
Okay, I give up. But you can't say I didn't try. I'll get your coat. Bert. Yes? Thank you. What for? Your offer. You meant it, didn't you? Yes. I'm sincerely grateful. You mean that too, don't you? Yes. Let me pass. And not if you don't say the password. I haven't got time for games. Well, who says I'm playing a game? Look, either you let me pass I, or... I, you don't give me a chance to apologize. Yeah, that's all I want to do. Apologize. Will you please let me pass? Uh, what's the rush? I am. Hey, it's Big Man. Hey there, Big Man. All right, Willie, that's enough. <clears throat> Sorry, Mr. Stoddard. I take it back. You're not a big man. I'm big enough to tell you something, and you'd better listen. Berg, I thought you were leaving. Stay away from Miss Winters. Far, far away. You got that, Willie? Miss Winters? You mean Vicky? Listen, punk. Willie, please leave. <laughs> sure. A good thing the lady's here. Or you might have got yourself hurt. Berg, don't, please. Take your hands off me. I will, as soon as you understand what I'm saying. I think you better take your hands off me. Please, both of you. I won't have this. I won't stand for it. Burke, you were leaving. Now, please go. Please, Burke. Fighting won't help anything. I'm not so sure. Neither am I. Burke, let go of him. I mean it. Let go of him right now. Please. Don't forget what I said. I never forget a thing. 